Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP, and welcome back to Dubala for another game of Spectre Operations. So we have a very special mission tonight. This is a mission written by one of our very own, Mr. Tyson McKinnis, one of our operator level patrons. And this is something that he actually did in real life. And he gave us the idea for the mission, breakdown of the forces, some of what happened, the board layout. I took that, tweaked it, tried to balance it as best I could by eyeball. We're not using points as usual, so... Hopefully it's a good game. Uh, they usually turn out to be pretty decent, so hopefully this will uh, this will be the same. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Starting with terrain, uh, tonight's mat is going to be the Geek Villain El Alamein mat. So this is one of our uh, new favorite mats, as it's a nice, uh, not quite full desert, but a uh, arid arid climate. We'll say it's got some green in it. It's got some uh, brown, some sand. Super cool. Check out the description if you want to get one for yourself. And uh, as usual with Spectre. Uh, terrain is not always a uh, set thing like in bolt action or chain of command. It's very situational um, based on where you are, where the fire is. So it's we'll get into it uh, when the time comes, but there are some things we can point out. Uh, for example, on top of the compound, there's going to be sandbags. So this is a low wall building and a high wall building. These are gonna both, both going to be fortified positions, minus three uh, to shoot at anyone up there. Same with the entrance to the compound. Now we also got high walls there, so minus three. It'll be minus two on these buildings with that lattice type uh, railing around the top. And minus three to shoot through these fences as well. And minus three to shoot through here. And this is gonna be rough ground. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, all the cars again, as usual, are drivable. Oh, patch of woods here, block sign sight. And the rest will be situational, so. That's it for the terrain. Tonight's mission is called Last Stand. And in this mission, a squad from the 10th Mountain Division has been cut off and they've been trapped inside of a compound and they're surrounded by angry Dubalans who want them out of their territory. So that is the premise of the mission. So we'll start off with the good guys, the Americans, uh, the mission for them. So deployment wise, they must deploy, the, the squad from the 10th Mountain Division must deploy inside the compound. They cannot leave the compound, but they can deploy anywhere inside of the compound. So pretty simple there. Um, the compound's gonna have two loopholes per wall. So any wall that doesn't have uh, windows on it, this one's already got a couple windows, but um, like this wall here could have a couple loopholes. This wall here could have a couple loopholes. So two guys could shoot out of the walls where there are no windows, as well as from the roofs or from any already existing window. Uh, there will be, uh, the main way for the Militia to get into the compound will be through the main entrance. But they will also be able to use the car. And there's a dumpster here. There's a dumpster on the back side here. And then there is a pile of barrels here. So each of the four walls will have a way for the militia to get uh, on the roof or into the compound. And they will have to pass an agility check to do so. So at the start of the game, uh, there is an extraction team in the vicinity. Uh, these guys don't know exactly where they are, but they they will radio them on the long-range comms, and once they make contact and request extraction from the building, uh, the uh, extraction team will have five turns to complete a task roll of 20 to show up. So pretty much uh, once they make contact, every turn, uh, the good guy player will roll 2d6, and in five turns, if that total does not reach 20, the extraction team will not arrive. Um, if they do arrive, then they will arrive from a random board edge. And they will arrive D3 turns after they reach the task roll of 20. So once they uh, make contact, they have to drive to the area and that will be D3 turns after they reach their task roll of 20. So pretty much that's it for the extraction team. If the extraction team does not show up, then the, the squad is gonna have to hoof it off the board. Um, if the extraction team does show up, the squad cannot leave anyone behind so everyone dead or incapacitated must be extracted with the extraction team um, if the they do have to hoof it off the board they can leave men behind but they'll lose points if they do so uh, we'll talk about points here in a minute these guys will also have access to some off-table assets so they're going to have access to two um two 60 millimeter mortar battery uh, shots and those are going to be uh, called in by the squad leader via long-range comms 
and they're also going to have access to one A-10 pass and the A-10 pass is going to have cannons and a laser guided bomb as well uh, on the same pass so the uh, effects of those can be spread out in a path along the board however the player wants to do it um, that's pretty much it for off table assets okay so we'll talk about points real quick so points are going to be used to determine a winner if there's no obvious winner so if the squad doesn't get extracted with everyone and just win outright or if the Dubalans just kill all the squad off and win that way um, there needs to be a way to determine who wins so um, I just kind of came up with some points for some different, uh, different things that will happen during the game. I'm not sure how accurate these are going to be. They might need to be adjusted. But for now, we're going to go with uh, points for certain things. So for these guys, the good guys, the USA, we're going to have five points for every enemy squad wiped out. There's going to be two points for every successful OTA that comes in. So sex successful meaning it hits something. Sometimes the OT, uh, off-table assets are kind of hard to use. Um, and they're also going to have minus two point uh, for every man left behind. So if they have to hoof it, or if they just decide to drive off in the MRAP with uh, leaving guys behind, they're going to lose minus two points for every dead or incapacitated man left behind. So that's it for the USA. Now we will talk about the... Mob of angry Dubalans. So for these guys' deployment, uh, there's going to be uh, they're going to roll to see what table uh, edge they come from. So we're going to have a north one, east two, uh, south three, west four, and then five or six means they can pick uh, whichever table edge they want to come in on. They will be able to bring in two squads immediately, plus one of the specialist teams. They have two specialist teams. So they'll be able to bring in two squads and a specialist team to begin with. And after that, uh, it's D3 uh, turns per other squad. So when the rest of the squads start coming in, it's D3 turns, and then you roll to see which table edge they arrive on. And there will be respawning in this for the militia. And the way that's going to work is if a squad is wiped out, or if the player controlling the militia squad wants to just call them done, ineffective, and pull them from the board. They'll go back into the pool and they'll follow the same process uh, for coming on to the board. Um, the specialist teams, however, will not respawn. The objective for the Dubalans is simply to wipe out the squad and take over the compound. And that's it. So uh, points-wise, they're going to receive two points for each squad member, each 10th Mountain Division squad member that they kill or incapacitate. Uh, they will also receive five points for any operator killed or incapacitated, and they will receive ten points if they take out the MRAP. So that is the mission. I know it seems like there's a lot to it. Hopefully we can remember it. I got it all written down. We're going to try our best to keep track of everything. So anyway, that's the mission. Let's take a look at the forces. We begin with the Dubalans. So these are going to be militia. Uh, no squad leaders, nothing. Just a bunch of regular militia guys. Uh, we're going to have four squads of six. These are the ones that will be recycled. So once one's dead or withdrawn intentionally, they'll be put back into the pool. So there's only ever going to be four squads on the table at any one time. Um, so yeah, four squads of six. Each is going to be five assault rifles. And then each squad is going to have one light machine gun in it. The specialist teams are going to be one sniper and one RPG team. And that's it. So no frags, nothing special on these guys. Just a mob of angry Dubalans armed to the teeth and pissed off. And here we have the good guys. So this is a squad from the 10th Mountain Division. These are the guys that have been cut off and trapped in the compound. So we'll start up here at the beginning, or at the, uh, the front here with the uh, squad leader, Staff Sergeant McKinnis. He's going to be armed with a carbine. I guess I should say all of these guys are going to be um, equipped with body armor, red dot, medical kit and a close combat weapon all the uh, 10th mountain guys so McKinnis up here in the red and the radio operator is going to be Corporal Shea armed with the carbine as well then we're going to have Alpha Team Sergeant Ann Valla in command armed with the carbine we're going to have Specialist Wallace armed with a uh, M249 uh, Private Leech armed with an M203 grenade launcher carbine and then lastly we're going to have Private Baldwin with just the carbine Bravo team we're going to have Sergeant Horton carbine uh, saw gunner is going to be Specialist Dignan 
Private Neal on the 203, and then Private Eagle Sham uh, rounding out the fire team. And then we're going to have one uh, designated marksman team here. It's going to be Sergeant Klain with the designated marksman rifle and his spotter, Private Decalone. And lastly, we have the extraction team. These are all going to be operators from Task Force Padilla. They're going to be fully kitted out with everything. So body armor, red dot, scope, specialist close combat weapon, frag, smoke, stun grenade. Oh, I should mention that the squad leader and the two team leaders each have a frag and smoke grenade. Uh, but anyway, returning to these guys, so yeah, fully kitted out with everything that operators usually have in our games. Uh, there are going to be four of them, all armed with carbines. we got uh, Sergeant First Class Padilla, we have Sergeant Lankowski, Sergeant Bruder, and then Sergeant Stratton. And they will be riding in the uh, MRAP with 50 cal. Uh, I know maybe all these guys might not fit in there, but hey, this is the army. Make your buddy smile right on top, whatever the hell it takes. Uh, will fit. So anyway, that's the forces. So we're ready to start the game. So Andre's arrived. He's going to take the uh, role of the Americans. I'll take the Dubalans. And we did make some changes after discussion. So points wise, uh, the uh, squad's only going to get two points for wiping out a squad instead of five. And they're only going to get one point for a successful OTA strike just because they would get another, you know, five points probably for that on top the way it was. So uh, everything else is going to stay the same. Uh, we did uh, deploy the Americans, so he's put uh, Alpha Team over here, so Anvala is in this window here. And then up on top of the roof here we have uh, Wallace with his saw, and Leech with his 203, and Baldwin is over here at a loophole. So wherever you, wherever you see one of these red dots, That's where the loopholes are. He only put five of them out. So, yeah, Alpha Team on this side. Bravo Team is over here. So up in front here we have Sergeant Horton. And we have... I can put my glasses on here. Sorry about that. Yeah, so there's the Saw Gunner, Dignan. Then we got Neil with his 203. And then in the loophole here is... A radio Operator. Radio Operator. And the loophole on the back side. Ah. Eagle Sham is on the loophole back here to the right of the dumpster. And uh, Sergeant McInnes is here. Where is your... Oh, the radio operator's in there. Yeah. So that's the setup. And I believe we're ready to begin. Starting out, initiative. So he has a professional sergeant, McInnes, who's a four. And I just have a bunch of militia who are two. And a five. Mm. That's a tie, right? Yep. All right, you got it. Yep, Andre is going to try to contact Task Force Padilla. I failed. He did fail. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, you're coming in broken and distorted. I can't hear you, McKinnis. What? Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you have any other commands? Um, Maybe some Overwatch. We're on Overwatch. Okay, remember on Overwatch house rule, you can't move if you go on Overwatch. Um. Okay. So everyone's on Overwatch. The squad had no movement. I did, however, bring in some guys. So I got a five and a six for my two squads, which allowed me to bring them in wherever I wanted. So I picked the eastern board edge. First squad I just brought in here uh, behind this building. And then my sniper, one of my specialist teams came in. He had to come in over here. So he just moved in up towards the back door of that building. And then my final squad has come in here in the orchard. We'll say minus two to hit. Uh, shooting at people in the orchard and that's it for movement so it's uh, going to be the shooting phase and Andre do you have any shooting? Uh, probably. I'm sure you do so we'll figure out what he wants to shoot at. So we're going to start with uh, Sergeant Klain and his designated marksman rifle. He's a six all said and done against my machine gun in that squad. Because that's his elevated position, didn't move, and his red dot. Yep. And, and then you get two uh, cover minus. for the woods. Yep. Eight minus two brings him to a six. And, oh, a two. So, so he's an eight. And I did move those guys tactically. That's so why I moved five three inches. So five will tie. Oh, bounced it. Okay. okay. And then uh, Olivier here will do the same thing. Oh, oh right. cannot touch that. Yeah, that's a six plus a four is a ten. Yeah. Yeah, you got to roll a seven. I got to roll a seven. <laughs> <laughs> I might call you out as a cheater if you got a seven on one d six. Okay, so that's that. Um, I do have to take a suppression test because I took. Oh wait, wait. 
lethality. Oh yeah, lethality on the machine gunner, needing a five. No, he's hit, see what happens to him. Yeah, he's... he's Incapacitated. Still, bleeding out, the worst that could possibly be, all but dead. Uh, so a suppression test, because they're only a command of two. Oh, man. Wow. So they're not suppressed, so we're gonna go ahead and fire back. I'm gonna have everyone who's left. Uh, I got the five assault rifles. They're just gonna unload full auto into these guys. I'm going for suppression here. Now it's gonna be minus three to hit them. I did move. We'll have to figure out what I what I'm starting at. I'm gonna be a negative two on my shooting. But the goal here is suppression, not necessarily kill. Uh, so a minus two. I can. If so. My defense is three because you're tactical up there. So I'm so going to tie no matter what. Yeah. But you do have to take two suppression checks because your leadership of four with uh, McKinnis, and I just put 10 shots on you. So for every four, you need to take one. Okay. Eight fours. So you pass that one. You pass that one. All right. So they just took a ton of uh, shooting, but McKinnis held the boys together and they're not suppressed at all. You know, easy, boys. Easy. Easy, easy. Don't worry, they, they can't hit a broadside they, of the barn at this distance. They, they, they haven't <laughs> hit the building yet, we're okay. <laughs> so we'll move on to the next turn. Initiative uh, four, you got a two. Ooh, that's a that's tie. A tie. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, I got it. You got it. Okay, uh, well I have no commands. Do you, uh, you gotta try to call in Task Force Padilla again, needing a four or less. How hard could it be? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. You're coming in broken, distorted. Um, uh, son, could you please turn the radio on? <laughs> oh, is that what it is? <laughs> um, yeah, and I think that'll be it for commands. He's still on Overwatch with everything. And yeah, so we'll do movement phase. End of the movement phase. Uh, this squad's come out. Screw it. We're going to come out and see if we can get some suppression. I was worried because I know he'd get to move second, and he did move to face me, but I do get to shoot first. If I can suppress him, I might be able to cause him some misses, maybe. So yeah, I pulled those guys out first. Uh, the sniper, he moved up to that back back part of that top floor up there. And then this squad just advanced, picked up the machine gun, and we came up to the edge, normally not tactically. And then over here, uh, Bravo team, uh, just all kind of face this way. And he's got McKinnis in the loophole shooting out here, and then the uh, radio operator, Shea, shooting out of that loophole as well. So we'll do some shoot now, and I, I do get to shoot first, so we'll do that. Starting over here, uh, the green double tap in assault rifles, and automatic on the machine gun. That'll be a negative one onto Andre up there, because um, of all the cover and everything. So here we go. Negative one, so the best I can do is a... Uh, well, what's... I'm a three or a four? Uh, you didn't move tactically, right? I did move tactically. Oh, you did? So yeah, yeah, you're a three. So I'm a three. So the lowest I can roll is a four. Yep. So you're at minus one. Yeah. So if you roll a five, we tie. So only a six can hit if I roll a one. Okay. So I guess we have to pick the guys out then, huh? So these are all sixes. So how about, uh, well, we'll just start in the corner here randomly. So this okay. guy here, he makes no it. No problem. Next here. Oh, hey. No problem. They're getting close. <laughs> okay, you passed them all. Near hits, three near hits. <laughs> <laughs> but you do need to take three suppression checks. Because those were close hits. <laughs> yep, maybe a fourth one for that. So he fails that one. Fails that one. So you failed two suppression checks. So Bravo team is going to be, I believe it's called pinned, which is not good. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll sort that out. Squad now, we'll see if we can route Bravo team off of the roof there. So again, uh, negative ones. Look at that, three. I, I was two less on this one, so it's only going to be, I don't think you're going to have to do three this time. I said I had two or three sixes. I guess three. There's three there. So I got to roll for the sixes, right? Yep. Start with the uh, team leader. Oh, he's hit. Horton's hit. Okay. So we'll see what happens to Horton. 
Uh, he's dead. Horton is killed outright. Which means, yeah, so... <laughs> that's two points for me. Well, dude, probably a lot more than that, because now they're going to route. I can't rally them with my team leads. Well, your so. squad leader's in there still. Yeah, your uh, squad leader. It's... Kinnis can do it. <laughs> All right, next guy. He's good, and then this one. Good. So Horton has been taken down, and you're going to do one, two suppression tests. See if you get routed. And you can use McKinnis's. So just two tests. Good. You pass both. So it is not they are not routed, but you did lose Horton, which is not good. And we'll let them shoot back. Returning fire. Oh, and you're also minus three for being pinned. Okay. Um, so you're down to a five with with Clayne, and you're down to a one with with uh, who is that? Uh, Olivier. Okay. And I did not move tactically this time, so go ahead and fire your DMR. Uh, yeah. So what I say you were? Uh, three. Three. Which means we're equal. I'm a so two. No, I'm only a two because I didn't move tactically. Oh. So I hit. You hit. All right. So three plus lethality with that thing. Yeah, you got one. <laughs> Machine gun. Yeah. Well, Next yeah, up. Like it, like it matters. <laughs> Who wants the machine guys? I'll pick up the flag in the Civil War. <laughs> All right, then uh, how about uh, Olivier will go Kill next. double tap. Double tapping. So he went from a one down to a zero. Ooh. But he's still got a six and a five. Uh, and I'm a three. So on the six, passed. On the five, no. Ooh, it's a hit. Him. So four plus lethality. I can't see it. Three. It's not a not a lethal hit, but he's stunned. Yeah, so he'll be just stunned. So if you can put a red marker by one of those guys, doesn't matter which one. Okay. And we just took three. We got to take a a test, right? Yep. Which we fail. So they're going to be suppressed. Next up, we're going to have Dignan, and his saw is going to fire at my machine gun. So he did move, so he doesn't get uh, sustained fire. Uh, he's at threes when it's all said and done. So it was a one and two fours. And I'm at a two. So that's a seven. Those are sevens. Yeah. Oh. Oof. He's dead. Two hits. Auto kill. Took out my saw gunner. Okay. All right, then Shay's in the loophole there where that red dot is. She's a base five. Uh, minus three for being suppressed. Five. And minus one more for the uh, range band. So it's a five. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So she's at a one, and I'm at a two. Oh, yeah. No problem. But that's two suppression checks. Yep. And I need twos. Ah, no, they're pinned. They go straight to pinned. So we got a bunch of pinned dudes around here. And when I did roll for my reserves, they're not coming in for another two turns. Um, okay, I think that'll be it, right? Grenade launcher. Ah, Private Neil. Okay, so he's going to fire his grenade launcher? Yep. Okay, we'll figure that out. And the last one here, instead of... <laughs> the dog is loose. Let's let him go. Instead of uh, firing his grenade launcher, which would have been an auto scatter with all the um, modifiers, he's going to double tap these guys, keeping him pin them. This will be Private Neil at a two. That yeah. looks like... Not very good. A two and you're a at a two also, aren't you? Yep. So, if you roll a one on that, it's a hit. Oh! <laughs> it's a hit! Ah, and a four plus. No. No, but... Uh, okay, so he'll be bleeding out a little bit. So you got another guy that's... Uh... Yeah. And I gotta take a suppression test. Which no I pass. Wor no worries. Alright. Well, everyone's just blasting away here. We got more suppression markers in this game than we had in the past three games combined. <laughs> I and I think that'll do it for that turn. So we'll move on to the next turn. Initiative. I Ooh, got it again. No, 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 no. We're no. only two apart, right? You're pinned oh, yes, and suppressed. All the suppressed. I'm pinned. So you've got a suppressed, which I believe makes us tie. Well, but yeah. No, I'm I'm less than you. Yeah. The pin is keep us together. 
Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm pretty sure yeah. the suppress gives me another, uh, or you another minus one. Okay, so well. there's a three separation, and so I actually win that. Yeah, because I have an extra minus two there. All or right, so... Is it one or two? I think it's two for suppress, oh. but I'll double check it. Then I might have won the last one, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we'll figure out what's next. And phase, so we'll see if we can get a hold of uh, Padilla this time. Okay, you're rolling? You're rolling. Okay. Hey, a five! Yeah, hey, uh, you still can't get all the pin. The fourth yeah. one in a row. Fourth, fourth, five in a row. All right, so suppression. Um, do you want to call any? So you didn't want to call in your mortars or A10 yet, right? No. Okay. So those two are, uh, go ahead and do your roll. Use McInnes' command of four. See if you can get just a suppressed. No. They're going to stay pinned. They don't like it. Okay. So this squad here needing a two. Nope. This squad here needing a two. Nope. So we got a bunch of suppressed dudes all kind of looking at each other here. Uh, uh, yeah. And, um, I'm thinking maybe I should do the uh, sustained fire. Yeah, because he turned. Oh, he didn't fire last time. Oh, did neither of those guys, <laughs> did, did they? Nope. Well, they can fire this time. <laughs> so we'll do movement step. So movement phase, Andre didn't move anybody. I did advance, although my advance, my movements has been restricted by my status. So these guys only can move four inches. Did pick up the machine gun now on the way by. These guys only moved up a couple inches. They only moved up one because they're stunned and wounded. And lastly, my sniper moved up there and he took a good position in that window. So it is now time for shooting. And he's going to still be, what, minus three because you're pinned? Yep. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and do some shooting. We'll start off with uh, Sergeant Dan here is going to fire his uh, DMR, needing out of five again. So an eight, and I'm only a two, so I need a six. Well, now your numbers are off, I think. Why? Because he's pinned. That's with the pins. He's still a five. Um... Okay. It. Well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I would have got hit either way. Alright. <laughs> and... Uh, Reroll that one. That one's legitimately cocked. Yeah, he's dead. Right. So another guy's down. Pick one. Alright. Okay. Olivier? Uh, double tap with your... Double tap with the 203 gunner? Uh, Neil? Actually, let's... Uh, Hold on, Andre, I think. VA is going to double tap it a two for the double tap. Okay, I can't lose to the one, right? Nope. But I can lose to that six. Hmm. Yeah, so you're oh. a three? I thought you said two. Two. So that's an eight? Yeah, I can't. Uh, I still lost. Lethality check? Yeah, another one down. Okay, I think that squad might be getting pulled off the line. <laughs> what? They're good to go. They got this. And next up, uh, well, what do we got next here? We got Dignan with his M249 can do a sustained fire on these guys. So can Wallace and uh, Leech so can also fire. sustained fire. Sustained fire. So Dignan uh, needing three to do a sustained fire on him and then the three guys around him. So the First guy. guy. So and that's a four. I'll just do them as we go. So I beat that one. Okay, so this guy here, needing it on a two, so that's Sweet. that's an eight, so I need a six to beat that one. Oh. Uh, I'm only a plus two, huh? Yeah, because uh, it's another minus one for this the same Okay, fight. right. So this one here. So that's a six. So I need a four. Four, yeah. Look at that. And a three. And a three would be you a need, five. You need a three. Boom. Dignan. You are a horrible shot. <laughs> what do you mean? He hit every one of them. <laughs> but I do have to take two suppression checks, so that's something. Yeah, I fail both. So they're going to route. Okay. Um, That'll work. Yeah. And is that it? No, these guys are firing at the sniper. Okay. Wallace, um, well, first of all, these guys routed. So they had to run to the near combat sprinted to the nearest cover, which is behind this building here. They're pinned. Uh, sadly, Wallace can see them still. 
and he's going to do sustained fire from up there on these guys. So it's going to be um, twos and ones this time. So probably I can only see two of the other guys, so I can hit three of them. Okay, so the first guy is a two. Ooh, so that's an eight. So I need a six. No, so that's a hit. So do lethality there. Two. That's not. And anything. Uh, yeah. So one guy is going to be incapacitated. So these would be ones. So a seven. Another hit. Four, uh, yeah, that's he's incapacitated. He's dead. And one more dude. That's a three. I can't lose to that. And another uh, two more. Uh, <laughs> no, one more because that was only three shots. Oh yeah, I can only okay. see three. We fail. So they'll probably route again and run behind the building. Uh, what's left of this squad is back here. They routed again. There's only three of them left, so I'm pretty much down to three guys pinned. They're still only suppressed somehow, but there's only two guys and they're both wounded and bleeding. But they are going to fire everything they got up there at uh, Bravo team. So this will cause a suppression check. Can't possibly do anything. Suppression check. But suppression check using McKinnis. Check, check. Oh, they fail. They fail the suppression so check. So we route? They're going to route. Cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> you can finally get off the roof. Advance to the rear. Bravo team, along with Klain and Olivier, have uh, routed into that building there. So all we got left up on the roof at this point is Wallace and Leach and a beat to hell squad and no sign of Padilla at all. So let's move on to the next turn, Andre. So you're leaving those guys on the table? Yeah, let me think about it. <laughs> Pull both squads. That's gonna be four points for Andre. But all four squads are gonna be coming in next turn at the same time. Uh, meanwhile, there's a little, bit of, a little bit of quiet here on the battlefield as there's no enemies in sight. So initiative check. Okay, Andre's, four. Andre's got it. You're not rolling? I don't, with four, I don't have anyone on the board. Oh no, I do got my sniper, don't I? Yeah. You got the initiative. I got it. Or is that a tie? Uh, well, you're a... still pinned. Oh, so... I'm a... And you lost all your pins and... Uh... Yeah, I lost all my suppression. <laughs> suppressed. At least I'm not suppressed anymore. <laughs> so, yes, you got the initiative. Okay, so go ahead and try to contact Padilla again. Yo, Padilla! Oh, should we use the radio this time? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Woo! you got it. You got it, okay, so in five turns, so roll your 2d6. You got a seven. Seven. That's average. So we'll try to keep track of that. You got so it over there? Yeah. Okay, now go ahead and see if you can rally Bravo team, which you do. Yeah. All right, so they need a little peace and quiet. So they're Get down their nerves to together. suppressed. Down to suppressed. And I guess we move on to the next turn. So all four of my squads are coming in. We'll show where they're coming in a minute, but we'll do initiative. You got it. I got it again. Well, yeah, I'm still suppressed. Which is only a minus one, though. Yeah. So you're down to a three, and I'm a two. Yeah, I guess I still did get it by one, right? Yep. Okay. And phase, do you want to call in any A-10 strikes? Mortars? No. Not yet. Okay, so uh, Padilla, dear Padilla roll. Get two in a row here. Get a freebie. Woohoo! Five. Five more. So you're at twelve. And I did. Did I mention we moved that to twenty-five? I think you mentioned that. Yeah, we 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 bumped that up to twenty-five instead of twenty after discussion earlier before the game as well. All right, so that's it for command phase. We'll do movement starting with the militia. Okay, so movement phase. First of all, Andre did roll to unsuppress Bravo team and failed off camera again. So they're still suppressed. Uh, but I did get to move first, so I brought a squad in here into the junkyard. Uh, they sprinted up. They're out of line of sight behind the uh, Connex. These guys just advanced normally onto the road. So these two were forced to come in on this side by roll. And then I had to. I got two to choose, and I cho chose to bring in a squad here from the southern edge. So they combat sprinted up. They're trying to get to that compound. These guys also combat sprinted up into the orchard. So we're rushing the compound. Meanwhile, in the compound, uh, Leach and his 203 just turned to face down the road. Well, did Wallace move, or he just nope. he's just still there? So he can just fire sustained fire again. Yep. Uh, who is this? 
That's a uh, Alpha Team. Alpha uh, it's Baldwin. So Baldwin just turned around. It's coming this way. Shay, the radio operator, moved from the um, loophole. loophole over to this window and can see these two guys. And then Bravo Team, and Klein and Olivier are back on the roof. So a four inch move got him up there and still suppressed. And poor Horton, he's still laying there dead. <laughs> uh, so it's shooting time. So I do get to shoot first, but I only got, uh, I've combat spreading most stuff, so the only thing I can shoot with is that squad and the sniper. Starting out with my sniper, we're going to target Wallace because he's going to really do some damage to these boys. Uh, so it's even when it's all said and done. Oh man. Come on. Uh, oh, it's a hit on Wallace. And this is a heavy sniper rifle. So a two, but he's got body armor. So a three. On a three, Wallace is dead. Wallace is dead. Headshot. Yeah. Well. Goodbye, Wallace. You were a good soldier. <laughs> uh, so that's two points for me again. So we're actually tied on points right now. Four each. <laughs> If you want to look at it that way. <laughs> and Sounds to me like you're way the hell ahead. Well, no, we're tied. Mm, no. <laughs> Next, I'm going to have this squad fire just at this part of the building. You've already <laughs> gotten your lucky shot. Yeah, these guys are all negative ones. Um, firing at Alpha Team. So we have uh, Anvala's in there. Wallace is dead. Leech is there. So... Uh, we're just blazing away again. So those could possibly three hit. Three sixes. Looking for anything but. No, he passes them all. But he does have to take three suppression checks again with fours. He fails one. So he will be suppressed. Start up on top here uh, with Leech. He's going to just double tap to get some suppression out. Fours against your twos. Fours against twos. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Two so, down. Oh, it's one. You can only fire a double tap at one guy. Okay, one's down. The machine gun. Okay. <laughs> and a suppression check, so go ahead and we'll just do the next one. So Anvala here in this window will do the same thing, but he'll be one less. Threes. Ooh, fours. Wow. So I need anything but on these. So I do pass those, but I do have to take two suppression chests. Which we fail one. So they're going to be suppressed. Next up we're going to have um, McKinnis here. As well as Baldwin and Shea are all going to fire at these guys. So Baldwin and Shea are firing over the cover. So they're, they're double tapping now. So they're at twos, right? Yep. So those are fours and those are sixes? Yep. How convenient. Hey, look at that. Doubles, doubles, doubles. So we passed that one. Double, double taps. We passed that one. Because we're tied. So, okay. Yeah. That's then, two suppression checks. I mean, these are fives. So in 11, I can't beat that. Can't touch that. In, uh, in eight, I could beat that with a six or tie it. No. So... So we can just take someone out, which I'm assuming the machine, machine gun. gun. <laughs> machine gun. And three suppression tests. Which we pass one. So they're going to be pinned. pinned. Let's start with Klain and Olivier. So Klain's going to be a two. Firing at the sniper in the window. So we're even again. Oh boy. I can't lose my sniper. Yeah. Fast. All right, so Olivier is going to be a uh, a one because he doesn't have the scoop. Ooh, this is going to be another great, great save. Yeah, <laughs> I've been on fire tonight, man. Yeah, I see that. Uh, Take your suppression check. Yeah, suppression check. We pass. Joy. Ah, oh, the sniper. So I only lose one more guy next turn. Yay. Maybe. Alright, these guys now will fire at these guys. Start off over here, we're going to have um, Dignan, or uh, Neil and Eagle Sham. 
are going to double tap over here. One, two, it's even again. So a five and a three, so the five, that's a hit. So one hit, so see a lethality test, nope. No, he's just, just uh, shocked or wounded or whatever, so the machine gun. All right, so that was Neil, so dig, or uh, Eagle Sham. So I can't lose to the two, right? Uh, yeah, you can. You can? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, awesome. See, I should have never said anything. Well, then there's a dead guy. Okay. You want to put that on the machine gun and kill him, or leave him stunned and then kill someone else? Oh, Killing the machine gun is always a better deal. All right, so just put him out of his misery. So Eagle Sham took out the machine gunner. And then we have Dignan left with his saw for three more shots. And I think and these are... He's th you're getting threes ones, for right? these. No, because you're, you're within range of the red dot with him. Oh, but I'm... Uh, but you're automatic. Fire. Automatic. So yeah. two, so it's even again. Even again. So the two. And the two fives. No, oh, dead guy. Another dead guy. And that'll be three uh, checks for you, right? Three suppression checks. Oh, they're pinned. Okay. Next turn, uh, initiative. I'm negative two with all my pinned and everything. All right. Hey, you got a zero. I got a zero, so Andre's got the initiative. So it's command phase. Go ahead and start your command. You uh, all right, six more. So you're at 18 with three turns left to get to 25. Woohoo! <laughs> and uh, so let's do a check on Alpha Team. This is one dice, but yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bravo Team. They pass. So these. Everybody's unsuppressed. Yeah, second squad is unsuppressed and ready to rock. I will do a test on these guys. No. Uh, these guys. No. And the guys over in the trees over there. Yeah. Okay. They're going to be good. All right. Suddenly it's not looking so good for me. All you got to do is jump up on the roofs and blast away. So in the movement phase, Andre, uh, he just had Neil and Eagle Sham face the sniper. Everyone else stayed put. Uh, I just had these guys, so they can only move two inches. They did move two inches that way just to get out of line of sight of Shea, who's in that window there. They can still be seen by the other two. These guys did a combat sprint. They're rushing. What the hell? These guys moved six, so they're going to be able to do some shooting. And then this squad moved uh, up as well, just right in the middle of the road. So we got two squads over here. We got only two Americans with carbines. So we should be able to get some suppression on them, and that's it. So shooting phase, and Spadia will be in in uh, a few turns, I think. Maybe, unless Andre whiffs some couple of the goals, <laughs> which is possible. All right, we'll start shooting. Starting with the snipers. So we're going to have uh, Klain is going to fire first. And I can't remember what you were. You're I think not, it's even, isn't it? You're not, yeah, but you're not suppressed anymore. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to be a 5, a 6 with the scope. A seven because you didn't move. Minus two for the window. So you're so at a five. five. Five against my two or three. Okay, so that's a ten. Gonna be kind of rough if yeah, you're at a two or a three. Cause... I am at a three, so I can't even possibly match it. Yep. So Clayne may be pulling his magic. Three plus. Oh, he kills the sniper. Sniper the sniper. Well, my sniper did kill Wallace, so at least oh, he's got that going for he, him. Uh, <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, he saved uh, an entire squad for a turn. Yep. All right. Um, well, the rest of the guys are going to probably light these guys so, up. So, right? yeah, we might as well uh, start with a sustained fire. Okay. Targeting this guy, and then sustained fire will get these two, so eights and sevens. So the eight. That's an auto hit. That's an auto hit. And the other two are auto hits. Okay, so lethality. Okay, uh, starting from the end, working down. Nope. Um, and checking him again. So incapacitated. 
So he's out. Next guy, nope. He's wounded. He's bleeding. Uh, next Stunned dude. and bleeding. He's dead. Okay. okay. So, yeah, that squad's pretty much toast. But we still got Eagle, Sham, and Neil up here, too. Okay, so they'll... Uh, They're going to be the same boat. Double tap. But they did move, because they... Uh, oh, yeah. Were so there are five, six with the red dot, seven for elevated. Okay. And if you double tap, you'll be down to six. Sixes. Down to sixes. Down to sixes. Uh, that's an eight. So I can I can match that with him. I do beat the eight. Yep. The four. I think I got. Uh, uh, I'm a six. You're a two. Yeah. Uh, no. Nope. So he's hit. So roll for him. He's dead. Okay, and then the last dude. Uh, that's an. Well, I think he was already dead. Yeah, I think he might have died oh. from two hits anyway. So that okay. squad has been wiped out. The Bravo team is wiped out. Damn it! Another squad. Actually, they wiped we out this whole side of the depression. <laughs> well, that's another. If I kill points. everybody, then. Uh... <laughs> We lose our not suppressed. <laughs> I will. I'll lose the initiative again, which really uh, sucks. Yeah. Next up, we're going to have McInnes in the loophole, and Baldwin over here are going to fire. So do McInnes first. He'll be at a lot. Double tapping. Oh, yeah. So you're a five, a six with the red dot, a seven because you didn't move. Okay. Uh, but minus one for double tap. So sixes. So that's Sweet. a seven. Seven. That's a hit, and that'll be a hit. Is that another guy down? Yep. All right, and then Baldwin, he's going to be minus three. So I think he's a five, yeah, he's a five, a four, a one? Um, Maybe the red dot? Moved in red dot. Oh. So he should have been the same as... Well, he's uh, got minus three for this, though. Yeah. So he was at a seven, so minus three, he should be a four. Four, so a seven. I'm Six. a two, that's a, that's a hit. And you got, okay, one hit. No. Wounded. Oh, but incapacitated. Yeah, might as well be dead. All right. And, and then two, uh, two more suppression checks. checks. Uh, yeah, one fails, so mm -hmm. they're going to rout. On this side, Andre is going to have Leech fire his M203 at this guy who's just out of, he's just in the third range band. Uh, but Andre still only, only needs a three to land it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a hit. So that's a three inch template on these guys here. And everything within one inch is instantly killed. Okay, so. Three are dead. Three dead, two more hit. Two hits. So I believe that's only a. Five up? What am I rolling for? I don't know. But I did roll a five and a six. <laughs> nice roll. Not rolling saves. You got to roll a lethality test. Okay, so two lethalities. Nope. No. Uh, one, one is out. Wounded one. To the machine gun. And I think I have to take double shock or something. So two two tests on that. So they fail one. So these guys are now suppressed and half dead. Bummer. And a double tap over here. And a double tap over here. So don't rush the building, guys. Yeah, your double tap's going to be pretty good. You're probably out of first range band. So no red dot, but you're still stationary. A six, so fives. Okay. So I can't beat that. And I could beat that with a five or six. No matter, I failed anyway. So, so someone down. Dies. Well, one guy oh, down. Oh, one guy down. Hey, the machine gunner. Hey, we killed him again. <laughs> He's dead again. And another suppression check. Oh, man. Nice. Went to pinned. Now they're pinned. All right. Uh, we'll take good. it. All right. Uh, I think now it's my turn to shoot. Yes. <laughs> These guys are going to fire, even though they can't possibly hit at negative four. But again, we're going to see if we can suppress alpha team. So what the hell? Sixes! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, that's one, 
Only two suppression checks. Okay. Two suppression checks on Alpha Team. Ooh. Oh, they fail one, so they're going to be suppressed again. Okay. So that's good news. And then what's left of these guys? Well, I got two guys there. Yep. So they're going to be in the same boat. I will double tap. And you will roll a, <laughs> a suppression test. Yeah, they passed. Damn, I wanted to pin them. Yep, yep. And that's pretty much it. Um, these guys are pinned. They can't shoot, right, when you're pinned? So. Uh, oh, wait, they dropped down to... Yeah, well, well they're, they're also facing the They wrong routed. Way. They routed. That'll be it for this turn. So good turn for uh, second squad here. They wiped out this group of militia. And the sniper. And the sniper. Uh, these guys are on the run. These guys got hit with an M203 and are pretty much done. These guys who have been in the open the whole time were actually doing the best, but they are pinned. So, yeah, that's it. So now I'll decide what I want to take off, and we'll come back. So next turn here, I did pull three squads. I pulled these guys, pulled the guys that were rushing, that were routing off the table, and then obviously the dead squad. So that's six more points for Andre. So, uh, initiative. He's in a minus one, I'm in a minus two. Can't possibly win that. Andre's got the initiative again, and uh, uh, Padilla roll. Padilla roll. Ooh, Ooh, ten. So you were at eighteen. You're at twenty-eight. Yeah, I you're, made it. You made it. So roll another d6. So they'll be coming in in three more turns. <laughs> All righty. So we'll leave that three Thanks there for, for three turns. Thanks for rushing in, Padilla. <laughs> they waited this long. He's ah. They're doing okay. If you guys waited six turns to call me, you couldn't have been in that big of a rush. <laughs> they just put their MRE in the MRE here. They gotta wait. Uh, um, so well, suppression. So uh, off table assets. Off table assets. I'd have assets. to rule that now, wouldn't I? Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, but you have to have line of sight to something with your squad leader. Oh. Which you don't. He's the only one that can do that, huh? Yeah. So you might want to move him up to a building where he can see something. Um, problem is, everything gets killed by the time I can see it, so <laughs> that makes it kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, it does. Well, how about we roll for suppressions or uh, rallies? So, okay. start with these guys. They pass they got these it. guys here. Nope, they're gonna stay pinned. So, okay, um, movement off table asset roll on. Uh, McKinnis is gonna call in some mortars. I'm going to turn my head, so I don't know if he's going to pass or not. Okay. And I rolled a... Okay. So, I that's the roll. All right. We're good. I didn't hear anything hit the table. Well, yep. So, <laughs> okay. we're good. All right, then. That was very so bizarre. So, we know what's happening. So, <laughs> turn your head one more time, because I got a pinpoint, right? Pinpoint where it's going. It's going right there. All right. <laughs> The fake, the fake mortar is going in a fake spot. You said you didn't peek. I didn't peek. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear anything hit the table. Okay, anyway. Uh, Won't he be surprised <laughs> if he uh, gets blasted? <laughs> yeah, well. uh, okay. Otherwise, are we in the next turn? Uh, yes. So it's two turns for Padilla. And I got two squads coming in this turn, so you don't have any suppressed... Do I get to roll again, or I can't remember? No, you already did. I already did. Okay, I so pulled mine. You. Failed. It's movement. It's movement. So it's Andre's move. To the movement phase. So uh, second squad, uh, Clayne and Olivier dragged Horton down into the building. The rest of these guys just shuffled around, facing various directions because they didn't know where we were going to come in. I got two squads coming in. So he's facing over there. He's facing over there. He's facing that way. Uh, McKinnis. Uh, Staff Sergeant McKinnis moved up here. Over here, Sergeant Anvala moved up, and he's facing this way. And Baldwin ran into here, who is now in this window. It's a combat sprint. So he can't shoot. He stayed put, right? Or did he move? Uh, he stayed put. I think he stayed put. So I was able to bring two squads in. So the first squad I brought in here, which is in good cover, it's a minus three through this fence. So they came in here, it's kind of a blind spot here. And then I brought another squad in next to them. Hopefully the mortars don't land here. <laughs> <laughs> the invisible mortars, but yeah. 
Let's hope not. Uh, because, yeah, he could see from the loophole to here, so he could have called him in there. Who knows? We'll find out. But, yeah, so like I said, there's a blind spot here. There's only one carbine for both of these squads because McKinnis is looking that way. And I think that's it for movement, so we'll do shooting. So we'll start here with Anvala. He is going to fire these guys. Right? Yeah. Um, elevated. He did move though, but still, you're a five, a six, a seven. Unless you double tap, will be a six. It'll be a double tap. Okay, double tapping. So tens. Yeah, I can't beat that. So you do kill a guy. Let me and guess. And you get to take a suppression. The machine gun. What? <laughs> it's always the machine gun. It's always the machine gun. A suppression check. They oh. fail. So they're going to be suppressed. Okay then. Um, let's go with uh, Leech over there. Uh, these guys. Dropping our rock. All right, Private Leech. He's going to try to drop a 203 round right here to a triple auto kill, needing a three to land it. He's got a four. Yeah. Kaboom. So three guys are dead. And then uh, two suppression checks, I think, for a frag. So we pass one, so they're going to route. Routed. This squad, I'm really tempted to fire at him, but I can't possibly hit him. So we're going to fire at Alpha Team, even though I can't possibly hit them either, but at least I can force some suppression. I guess maybe I could maybe pin McInnes. I don't know what that good that would do, but we'll fire at Alpha Team. Okay, no hits. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, what a shock. But <laughs> two... <laughs> two morale or two two tests. Oh, you got one. I got one. Okay, so they're going to be suppressed, Alpha Team. And then this squad, they are not suppressed or anything, so they can maybe actually do something. This squad now is going to fire at McKinnis. So these guys are all negative ones. Full squad within normal range, but the minus three cover for the fortified entry gate there. So I got a uh, sixes. So sixes. These are. Fives, two fives, two fours, three, four. You got a bunch of fours. Yeah, but, but the fours are you can't lose two. Right. Um, so I got two sixes and two fives. So I'm a. You were a two. Two. So let's roll the two sixes first. Okay. Uh, I need fours. Okay, one uh, one goes through. Um, so you're at a minus one. I'm at a two. So that's a uh, five, so that's a uh, pass. Those are passes, all right. So then these here? Passes. Passes all of them. Yep. But you do take, uh, what, three suppression checks <laughs> or something? Yeah, because that was a... Quit stealing my blue decks. That was a full squad. Full squad shooting, so... so three double suppression, tapping. huh? Yep. All right. Suppression one. He passes. Suppression two. Passes. Suppression three. He passes all of them. McKinnis, well, nothing happens to him. Wow. He's like, what the hell was the that? The squad of shooting does nothing. Uh, that's it for me, yeah, because these guys are off the board. Next turn? Next turn. Okay, uh, initiative. You have suppressed, and I have a suppressed. Yeah, I'm not yeah but win I, the one. I win. It's a tie. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's do our tests. You got any mortars coming in or anything? Um, we'll have to roll for that. <laughs> okay. So, suppression, suppression, no. Let me test my guys. Yes. yes. All right. Wow. But you do have okay. the initiative. So, I've got two mortars I can... And an A-10. And an A-10. Okay. Yes. <laughs> all right. You want to try and call it in? Um, all right. So, first mortar. And... Okay. Second mortar. And the A-10. <laughs> okay. So what did I need to be successful? Fours or less. Okay. All right. Okay. So now I got to point out where all my successes were, right? I believe so. Oh, but I can only pull... Actually, well, this isn't... Because it can only be where he can see, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's say you can put it wherever. I don't care. Yeah. I just want to see an A-10 come in. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, you got your uh, your. Well, let me figure out. Okay. Um, you want me to let you think? No, we're we're good. All right. Go ahead. So here we go. We got uh, uh, first mortar here. We got second mortar here, and the A10 will be right here. All right. <laughs> okay. There we go. So the off-table assets have been plotted. Without Travis's knowledge. Without me knowing, although I'm pretty sure they're all going to be along this line here. But well, You said I could put them anywhere. Why, why, <laughs> where else would they go? All right. Uh, I think that's it. So movement phase. Movement-wise, uh, they dragged Horton out and uh, Clayne staying with him. Meanwhile, Olivier moved up here next to McInnes, who turned to face this way. Everyone else has stayed put, right? Uh, you still got the guy in the window down here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everybody else uh, is... And then as far as my guys go, these guys just moved up, staying in cover along the fence. These guys advanced. I was going to sprint, but either way I'm going to be dead. And then these guys came in. My Another squad came in over here. And there's a bit of a blind spot, except for Olivier can see them. But it's one carbine again. So it's just one dead and uh and that's a, and suppression. suppression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all. That's it. <laughs> hey, we, you get used to that as a militia. All right, so it's uh now time for Andre to all see right. if his uh so roll them right here. Okay. And so just announce what they are. Um hey, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. So actually you can see this. Okay. All right. Because it's uh, so the you don't know where they are or what they are or if it's even real, right? I don't. So First mortar is coming in this turn. This turn, all right. Second mortar is coming in this turn. Oh boy. Warthog. Oh man, it's all coming in. Okay. And I'm hoping for you it's coming along this line here. Cause... So, turns out I didn't make the uh, Warthog um, oh. order. Right. But the two mortars did come in. Okay. So, pointy stick. Pointy stick. First mortar is literally <laughs> centered on that dude nice. there. Um, the other mortar is centered on this tree. <laughs> oh, perfect. That might hit you. Well, except this, or actually, well, it was whatever tree you picked oh. up and moved. Oh, I picked, oh, I moved the tree, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was, I think it was right. I tried oh, okay. to figure it out as soon as you moved tree? it, and I, I kind of picked this spot. Yeah, I'm sorry. But it's no. like, damn it, Travis, I, I targeted this. Don't tree. target the movable trees. <laughs> damn it, man. All right, so we'll resolve the mortar strikes, I suppose. Yep, so we'll start here. So it's a D3 scatter from that spot. So just roll it. So right I roll there. the scatter and three oh, one and one six. dice. Yep. Okay. So we are scattering. Yeah. Well, that's not horrible. So two inches. So we're basically straight. Right on top of that guy. We're yeah, we literally centered it on the center guy. <laughs> okay. So it's gonna be so the first one's gonna land here, a three inch template. Oh wow. And Does that hit every <laughs> that might. Uh no. Uh, a four inch would have caught a couple, <laughs> but a three inch uh, just hits him. Okay, so now roll the scatter die. So the next one will be... So we're to here and... Yeah, we're back there. We're So it's edge to edge? It's an inch apart, so it'll be an inch, so it'll be... So it's just the center moves an inch or there's an inch space there's a, between There's an inch them. space and another three inch template. Okay, so it's way back here, nothing. Okay. Alright, then the next one? It's... Way out here. Okay. So okay. So we literally only hit one dude. No, the three inch template. Yeah, hit one dude. Oh wow! With the mortar, only took out one guy. Yeah. No, you're. The four <laughs> inch would have caught those. Good job, militia. You're spreading out. So the mortar comes in, right there. Kaboom. And roll a. Well, he's lethality. It's yeah, instant. <laughs> it landed right on him. Okay. Yeah. You're not going to survive that. So it took him out. Okay, so over here targeting the tree. Okay. And uh, it lands one inch that way. So we center one inch that way. So I'm going to just center the 
the dice. Dice right? there, okay. And that's obviously not going to hit anybody. Nope. But we got to scatter over here. Yeah. An inch, and then another three inch template. So we're going, or so we're to there, and there. What do you? Did we hit that guy? Yeah, one guy gets hit, but not in the center. No, he's so he's like on the outer fringe. Quality check of five for him. And then another Last scatter. One. Oh, right back the way it came. So yeah, that's not gonna. So one guy is going to take a uh, lethality five hit. Okay. So roll that up, Andre. And I think those you probably count as frag grenades, so double the suppression. So nothing, but see what happens to him. Uh, he's just lightly wounded. Okay. But we'll take our two suppression checks, which we are pinned. So they're going to be pinned by that. And then these guys will take their two suppression checks, and they're just going to be suppressed. Well, All right, so some mortars come in, finally. Not real lethal, but actually hit with both. Yep, and did some, you know, pinned and suppressed, killed the guy. Not, Sweet. Not bad. And Vala is going to just double tap these guys, so. A six and a three. Yep. Can I even beat that with a two? Uh, no. Not the six. I don't even think the three. I mean, you're a. We are suppressed at minus two, so you're a five, six, seven, eight, minus two, a six, so six a nine. A nine. Uh, so I guess you on can a six. Only roll an eight. Yeah. So another guy down. Roll him over here, Andre. Okay. Uh, well, what are we rolling next? Oh. Um, McKinnis. We'll fire. Ooh. Oh, I might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> you might have. Yeah. You're a five, a six. He moved, right? Uh, he did. And, so you're just a six. So and that's he said, a, uh, damn, those mortars are coming in tight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's only a seven. I still don't beat it. And an eight. Yeah. Yeah, so another guy down. And two more suppression checks, which I fail both. So they're going to route, and they will be back here. And I think, do you have any other shooting? Oh, over here. Olivier will now fire at these guys. Moved. So he's a five, a six, with the red dot. Yeah, that's it, a six, so that's a nine. So I can't even beat that. I need a six for that. Whew. Yeah. So one guy down. Let me guess, down. the machine gun. The machine, wow, <laughs> what a coincidence. I need to start bringing in two machine guns in the squad. <laughs> Don't forget your, uh, Suppression check. Darn. They're suppressed. Darn it. Okay. This squad uh, the, is going to fire at McInnes. We got to hope for a kill here. Maybe killing the squad leader will be worth an extra point. <laughs> I don't okay. think I can even hit you, though. Uh, I was going to say, but you're really trying to kill me? Yeah, negative, taps? negative three. I think <laughs> that's going to happen. Even in non double tap, it's negative two. So I would have to roll a six, you have to roll like a one. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Well, we'll fire it and see if we can suppress those guys. How about that? On the roof. Okay. Bunch uh, of sixes. Bunch of sixes. But uh, you get two, uh, two tests on those guys. Which they, they fail, fail one. one. All right, so now over here, this squad will fire at Alpha Team. They're already suppressed. So this is a full squad here. So I get even more shots that I can't hit with. Ooh. Hey, uh, I got 12 shots that I didn't hit anything with. But you do take three tests. Three tests, man. Three tests. Ah, oh, he fails three all three. Fails. So Alpha run, Team's boys, gonna route. run. Run, <laughs> run, Alpha Team, run. <laughs> so they're going to go... They'll be pinned and down, down in the, the rabbit hole. Yep. And that will be it for that turn. And it is now time for Padilla to come in, finally. And I have another squad coming in as well. I will pull this squad. And I will see if I can bring them in. Or when they will come in. So we've also switched that up. that The uh, recycles come in D2 turns. So they'll be coming in this turn. So I got two more squads coming in this turn. Nice. Step. 
Yeah, still rolling even is a pretty good deal for you. Hey, you got it. I got it. But Padilla's coming in, so he's actually a operator. He has a better a better uh, command of five, I believe. Elite but, Sergeant five, but I think I still got it. Yeah. But well, even he's not on the board yet, though. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, I'll have the initiative, so let's roll up. I'm gonna see if I can get these guys unpinned. No. These guys over here are suppressed. Yes. Ah, nice. Let's see about these guys pinned. here. Alpha team. No, no. they're staying pinned. Suppressed dudes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so movement phase. In the warthog. So we forgot about no that. No secret. We're calling it. It's coming in. It's coming in. The warthog is coming okay, in. Okay, so I got to think about. So to explain to me what this does and how I need to lay it out. Okay, so I gave it a bomb and a cannon. So you have to say what side it's going to come in from. So I'd have to say it's coming, you know, strafing this way or strafing yeah. this way. And then you would point where you want the cannon to go and where you want the bomb to go, anywhere in that line. So we'll let Andre think so about the, that. Okay. All right. I sent Travis out uh, while I uh, do the warthog uh, targeting. And... We're going to shoot for right here is going to be the uh, 8 inch bomb template and then the cannon fire is going to be that little clump right there which is basically I'm assuming uh, those guys are going to do that moving on up so we'll, uh, we'll see if uh, that works out um, here shortly. Movement phase. Uh, these guys staying put. Not gonna be able to see anything. Um, I sprinted my next squad in over here again because that's the shortest route to the thing and the easiest access. These guys advanced up normal, and by the time they got there, there was no one left. They all pulled off the walls, off the loopholes, so they're hunkering down. I think I hear an A10 in the distance. <laughs> So they're probably hunkering down because of the A-10. And meanwhile, Padilla came in over here from the east. He uh, drove up here and one man on the machine gun, one man on the drivers uh, driving and the rest of the guys just in there. So shooting phase, I don't really have anything to shoot at. The I can't. Or the oh, the A-10. So now you I can't. can shoot at the A-10. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so roll for the A-10. All right. On, uh, D2 for the A10. Here we come, and it is... Next turn. Uh, okay. All right, but you still got the 50 cal in here. You All can right. fire. So what are you going to fire at? It's got sustained um, fire. Well, let's... Uh, if you hit this guy, you could probably hit. Let's hose these guys down. So these three? We'll hit uh, those four. These four, okay. Sustained fire from the 50 cal onto that guy. So you're a uh, six shooting, first range band. So just a six, sixes and fives. So this guy here can't beat that. And then the other three dudes can't beat any of those. Okay. <laughs> first. Two plus lethality on the fifty cal. He's dead. This guy. He's dead. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, the 50 uh, cal is at good. least we didn't uh, <laughs> overstretch ourselves on the lethality there. That's very good sniping, sniping with the 50 cal. So the 50 cal came in on the end wrap, hosed these guys down to hell, and that's that. Roll for initiative. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to have some... Uh, you might have a suppression check there. Two. <laughs> yeah, I feel. You're pinned. Pinned. But you have a pinned as well. I, I got two pins, though. You do. Yeah, they ain't gonna do it. Yep. All right, let me think. Uh, the Dubalans might withdraw at this point. Okay, we're gonna play out this last turn. Just because we won't see the A-10 come in. So, uh, the command phase. Oh, we'll we gotta to... pull clear, uh, yeah. clearing my pin. Yes, down to sub suppress. Uh, I'll try to clear mine. Try to clear mine. This one. Hey. Goes, uh, Okay. Down to suppressed. And as far as uh, moving, I'm going to, these suppressed dudes will, they're um, going to move up and get Wallace. Come up on top. 
dead to grab wall. So Andre has moved up, uh, Alpha team moved up to grab the dead Wallace and take him home. Bravo team moved up and I'm just going to stay put. Um, I could move up, but there's frags, there's 50 cow. Are you going to move Padilla? Uh, Might as well move him up. He's actually good where he's at. So he'll just stay there with the 50 cal. So I got 50 cal and a bunch of dudes. So we'll just stay here and take the A-10 and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, the A-10 will come in. All right. Where's the A-10 coming in? Which direction is he coming from? So he's uh, coming from, he's strafing right down the line. Oh boy. And that little clump of moss there is the eight inch bomb, which if you didn't <laughs> move was gonna hit uh, four guys, I believe. Okay. And then, this little clump right here was where we were targeting with the uh, guns. Okay, so let's do the guns because the bomb's gonna auto hit. So let's do uh, it's deviate D three inches. Okay, so D three deviant two inches this way. that way. So it's gonna center right there. Yeah, and I and think it just goes along. One, two, and three. And it's a one inch? It's a three one inch temperance. Oh. Three one inch. Yeah. Okay, well. A two. Got two guys there. And then we go. No, I think it just goes in a line. Oh, well, maybe it does scatter, yeah. Or. I would just assume it would just. Oh. So. Down the line. It just went, uh, okay. So it gets all three of those dudes. So they're dead, which is weird. Cause the one-inch template shouldn't have a lethality, right? Because it's anyone within one inch is dead already. <laughs> but it says <laughs> two plus lethality, but whatever. Well, it's just a gun, not a blast so much. That's true. It's not the shock. Uh, but the wave. bullets are like gigantic, and they do explode <gasps> on, on contact. I think. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> that? It's not as lethal. Yeah, they're only depleted uranium thirty millimeter shells. But they'll do a lot of damage to guys. So the gun burnt, wipe these dudes out, and then four over here on a two plus lethality, three plus lethality on four well, of these guys. So yeah, the four inch uh, when I centered it, I was I think I was getting all four of those center guys. So a three plus lethality on those, all three dead, four. or four. So the bomb hits here, explodes, takes out the fence. Takes out. Padilla's uh, boys uh, Padilla's clean up with the uh, 50, 50 cal. cal. These guys get all if still fired. we fire. got any targets <laughs> left. <laughs> so between the A-10, the Padilla, uh, Task Force Padilla, and the rest of the guns, yeah, so that'll be it for, for the militia. We're going to go home with what's left of us and uh, think about our life choices for assaulting the compound, and we'll come back and wrap it up. There we have it. Task Force Padilla has arrived. They've killed all the militia. They're going to load everyone into the uh, MRAP. Horton and Wallace are dead. So I got only four points. Andre got uh, nine points. We switched it even down from five to two to one for wiping out a squad mid-game just because it was so easy. So one squad wipeout was one point, but Andre still wiped out six. Well, six uh, was at seven, eight, nine squads. <laughs> so <laughs> He's got even more than nine points. He's got 12 points. Um... Yeah, so it's very easy to wipe these squads out, so just one point is plenty for them. Um, I think two points per guy is... I think that was right. That's good. Definitely ten points for killing this thing. Five there, points for an well, operator. I think you do need another way to get uh, points um, for you to score. Yeah. Because killing those guys is real tough. I don't know that bumping up to three points would be the answer, but having some other... Um, Maybe a vicinity, you know, we talked about um, if you got up to a wall or something. Yeah, I was um, going to say I get points if I get into the compound at all. Like one guy in the compound would be like five points. But yeah. But really the points are only for if it's not a clear victory. Yeah. Like it was. Like if there was a, if you got off the board but left a bunch of guys behind and yeah. only a few guys straggled off, then we would go points. But obviously you were took care of business here. Uh, second squad, they did lose two guys. But they killed what? Uh, what's nine times six, Andre? Uh, Fifty-four. Uh, Fifty-four militia have died. <laughs> yeah. 
and only two Americans. And the Americans got off, you know, they piled in and they got out of here. So it was a good game. Uh, with a little bit of tweaking, I think this is a, a good scenario. This oh, might be one that I actually I, yeah, try I, to publish. I, I was sweating at uh, their, you know, around turn six, yeah. seven, when your sniper was up there blasting away, and it's like... Yeah. Damn, I, I can't lose a dude every other uh, phase. That you know, that's harsh. My big mistake was sprinting those two squads in. Yeah. If I would have disadvanced both of them, Andre would have pulled back, and it would have come down to me getting up. I would have been right at the compound yeah. and trying to storm the breach. Yep. It would have um, been a very different game. It would have been a totally different game if I just came in and because he was, I was able to suppress him pretty easily. Oh, it with that much firepower, it you know there's. Yeah. You don't got it. Nothing I can do. It's, <laughs> yeah. You know, you're you're going to be suppressed, and uh, you can't always count on, uh, you know, making that roll at the end. And nope. 50, you're going to fail eventually, and you're going to wind up pinned eventually. And once you're pinned, yeah, you you can't necessarily count on making the kills. Uh, your movements, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's really bad <laughs> being pinned, yeah. So, yeah, sprinting those two squads in really changed the whole kind of face of the game at that point. Uh, at that point, I was pouring it on Andre. He was sweating, like he said. I he was, was on my heels a little bit. He was suppressed. He was pinned. I was, I was I definitely my, on the verge of pulling pulling down. I cut him a break and sprinted in because, well, I mean, there's a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. And that's why it started coming in on this side is because it's a short distance. And it's like if I was to come in any other side, I tried it. Yeah. There's no way. Even with just one or two guys, you can't get a squad of militia out. But uh, coming in through the mortar and uh, warthog uh, fire wasn't so great either. <laughs> That's not a very good idea either, though. No. So yeah, so it was a good game uh, with the tweaks. I think I'll uh, I think I'll do something with this and maybe write it up and put it out there uh, with our knowledge now playing it. It's a fun scenario. Uh, thanks to McKinnis for uh, you know giving us the idea and being there for the thing when it really happened. Because that's where McKinnis was actually at something like this. That's where he got the idea. That's where he, he sent it to me. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And well, we, I took it and tweaked it. And now we're tweaking it some more. And I think it'll be a really cool scenario at this point. So. No, it was, it, was a, it was a very fun play. And it's uh, about as balanced as these can usually kind of feel. I mean, yeah. it's... Because uh, it doesn't take much to really sway this game one direction or the other. Um, once things start going sideways on you when you're the, uh, um, the trained forces, um, once you lose a little bit of ground, it's tough to claw your way back. Yeah, or that critical initiative role. That... <laughs> well, yeah, that's, well, basically, you know, you get a, pre a suppressed and a pinned, and the, the, yeah. your enemy, you wipe out everybody else, and all of a sudden, you're minus three on your initiative roll. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, damn it, why did I kill them all? Uh, <laughs> well, that's why I put in the, that I could, the uh, militia could withdraw um, intentionally, because I know yeah. that it, it would, if not, it would lead to people maybe oh. just leaving a wounded guy out there. <laughs> oh, you'd have to. I mean, it's... Uh, just to keep that pin on him, yeah. No, it's it's tough uh, when you start taking the uh, fire and... Yeah, the suppressed isn't horrible, but when you start going pinned, it's like, man, I'm, I can't hold on to these initiative rolls. Right. And that's uh, when you really got that first upper hand was you got that first initiative and it's yeah. like... Yeah, and I blew it by sprinting the two squads in. No, no, the first one. Oh. Over uh, over here where you got to sh all the uh, oh, shooting yeah. in. Yeah. When you first suppressed me. Yeah. Um, and that was just a, a good roll on your part. I mean, that was, you know, a yep. straight up roll. Yeah, back in the glory days of the militia. Now they're just all blood splatters all over the Dubal and countryside from that A-10. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just one pass. Imagine, like, Three or four of those things just kind of circling around. Oh, <laughs> forget it. It's insane. <laughs> but yeah, in you know any of these scenarios, as long as I've got the initiative and I'm firing first, I'm not really a, too worried about the firepower coming back at me. But when you got the initiative and you can come in and get that first fire, um, I'm good. Yeah. Well, I took a casualty. I, yep. I took a bunch of suppression. Horton and Wallace. 
All right, and with that, we're going to end the game. So it was a fun game. Thanks to Andre for coming over. Thanks, McKinnis, for, uh, for uh, giving us the inspiration for this uh, mission. And all the people on the live stream as well, thanks for coming out. And as usual, check out our Patreon page. We're about to do a uh, Johnny's Coming Over Sunday. We're playing a patron-only chain of command game with our new Seek Force. So give them a test run before we uh, finish them and get them out on the main channel. So um, that's Sweet. something you can look forward to in the Patreon, as well as other you know, behind-the-scenes stuff and exclusive stuff as well. So if you want to help the channel out, help us uh, grow, get better, check that out, the uh, Patreon. And as well as our uh, other social media stuff, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are the three that we're on. And that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time. We are the